Warning, the chemicals used in this video are very dangerous. If these chemicals are misused, legal action could be taken. I'm not responsible for any injuries you or others obtain in this experiment. Proceed with extreme caution. This is one bad idea, and today for our two-year anniversary video, we're making smoke flares out of common household materials that you can get at nearly every hardware store. Okay, for this project, we're going to need a 60-40 mixture of potassium nitrate, or spectroscide tree stump remover, and sugar. Now, you can measure this out by volume or weight. I decided to measure this out by volume, and I started off with two tablespoons of the potassium nitrate, and then I decided to use one tablespoon of plain white sugar. I went ahead and put this all in one bowl. Or I could shake it all together and get a nice even mix. Okay, now we need to get some more materials, such as a paper cutter or scissors, some tape, a wooden dowel, a cardboard base, and some paper. I took the paper and put it into the paper cutter lengthwise, and I put about three inches and cut it right there. Now if you're using scissors, make sure that this is as exact as possible. And of course you can always change the tube size as you need. And now we're going to get our tape and wooden dowel, and with the paper, we're going to make a small tube. So, I'm going to take the tape and cut out just under three inches of tape, and we're going to set that aside. But have it ready. Okay, now we're going to take our wooden dowel and our paper, and we're just going to wrap the piece of paper around the dowel. Try and make it as straight as possible to minimize any errors. And now we're going to carefully slide that off of the dowel. I'm just going to push on the sides to make sure it's nice and even. Once again, I'm going to check the dowel to make sure it still fits. Now I'm going to get that tape, and I'm going to tape down that remaining flap. And now that that's done, we're going to take our dowel and check it one more time for size. Okay, now we can get our glue and uh, base. Then we're going to get the glue ready there. And basically, we're going to take our dowel and put it inside of the tube. And you're going to want to leave about a half inch left. You're going to start by folding down one side and then the other. And then you're going to have these two remaining tabs. You're going to want to fold those down too. Next, you're going to want to get the glue, and you can use whatever glue you'd like. You're going to want to glue down those tabs, and then glue that to the base, and let that completely dry. Okay, now in a pan, we're going to heat up our uh, stove to about uh, medium-low, and we're going to pour in our composition. I'm going to stir this constantly to make sure it does not burn. Soon it'll start clumping up. Eventually, it's going to look like a nice pasty peanut butter consistency. This is when it's done. And now it's ready to pour. Okay, now I'm going to get my tube and some fuse. We're going to pour a composition in there. You're going to want to be very careful and try not to get any air bubbles in there, because that can be bad. Now, once it's all in there, you're going to take your fuse and stick it all the way to the very bottom of the molten composition. This helps to ensure a nice, stable, clean burn. And now your smoke flare is done. The one on the left uh, contains the regular 60-40 mixture. I decided to add a catalyst to the one on the right, which is why it's darker in color, which is iron oxide, to see if that would burn faster, to see if that might produce more smoke. All right. Now we took them out and we lit it. We started with the regular 60-40 mixture without the catalyst. Don't blow up. And now it's lit. And this one burnt oh, pretty quickly. Awesome. Sadly, my video camera from a distance cut out there, so all we have was our close-up video. 
This one burnt very quickly with a rather large flame and put out a pretty large amount of smoke. This was quite shocking to me. And the casing is completely burnt. Alright, next up is our 6040 mixture with the catalyst. Now this one took off and it burnt very quickly. It produced about the same amount of smoke and a uh, much shorter time. I am pretty impressed with its burn rate, but for smoke flares, I don't think this is quite the uh, composition mixture. Maybe I'll use this in a future oh rocket. That was awesome. Now I had I made decide to make a 50/50 mixture, and in a much larger tube. And so we lit that off. This one weighed in at about 130 grams with the casing and everything. And now the fuse was lit, and all we had to do was watch. And now it's lit, and there we go. I was quite impressed with this one. It burnt much slower, but it put out a much larger amount of smoke. You can see the flame on this. Well, you can't see the flame on it. It's much smaller, but still the amount of smoke it put out is very impressive. It's actually even more than any of the others. And it's cheaper because sugar is cheaper than potassium nitrate. And because the tube was so much larger, this one burnt for a good around 40 seconds. And then finally burnt out. This is definitely my favorite one. That was great. Okay, and that's how to make your own homemade smoke flares of common household materials. If you like this video, maybe you'd like some of our other videos, so subscribe.